AI can already code. You can say, make me an app with login and dark mode. And it views it faster than most humans. So what's the point of being a developer now? If AI can do your job, how do you stay valuable? I think the answer is simple. You either become a specialist or a product maker. Hi, I'm Kei. I'm from Tokyo. I've been a mobile app developer for the past 10 years. Started from Swift and moved to Flutter for six years. I even published a book of Flutter. I built a community called Flutter Dayaku with 1,000 members in total. Helped launch over 200 apps. Now I'm exploring how AI and vibe coding are changing what it means to be a developer. Let's dive into the main topic. Before AI, we were paid for implementation. Someone gives you a design and you write the code. That was valuable. It took time and skill. But now AI can generate 90% of that, sometimes even 99% of that. The gap between idea and product is shrinking. So our value can't just be in typing code anymore. It has to be moved to deciding what to build and understanding what it matters. So where should we go next? I think there are two ways to go for us. First, the specialist. Maybe you are an expert in AI prompting, performance tuning, UX, or backend systems that AI can't fully automate yet. Specialists are valuable for companies. They can solve complex problems, and that means stable incomes. If you are skilled and reliable, you'll always find work, maybe over 100k a year. Not crazy money, but solid. The trade-off, you are still building someone else's vision. You are safe, but your seeding is limited. It's a good pass, especially if you like security and mastery. And I think one more way, the product maker. A product maker use AI to turn ideas into products. You think, build, test, and launch all by yourself. You don't wait for permission. You just create. It's riskier for sure. You might make 10 apps and fail nine times. But one success change everything. That one app could bring you thousands of users or passive income that beats a full-time job. That's the upside of uh, being a product maker. High risk, high reward. And the best part, you build your own ideas. You are not executing orders. You are expressing creativity. So my take, I used to be a specialist, a Swift engineer or a Flutter engineer. But when AI started coding better than me, I realized I needed to move up from just coding to creating. Now. I'm focusing on building products for myself. Sometimes I fail, sometimes I earn. But every project teaches me more than any client jobs ever did. So to wrap up, in this AI era, you have two paths, be a specialist or be a product maker. Risky, but unlimited. Both are great, but if you wanna get freedom, if you want to create something that's truly yours, start building today because the real opportunity isn't in coding anymore. It's in deciding what to build. That's it today. In this YouTube channel, I talk about app development, pipe coding, and software engineering, and so on. If you are interested in this kind of topic, please subscribe my YouTube channel. And I'm gonna start my newsletter from this December. It's about app development and pipe coding deeply. So don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and newsletter as well. Thank you so much. ありがとうございました。